A quick tip before I start. Turn off the Wi-Fi as soon as you switch on your tablet. The latest update seems to have left the Wi-Fi on every time the tablet is switched on. Here you can see the interface of the tablet. On the left you can see various categories of your files. Here you have notebooks which is the default format of the Remarkable and the documents which contains the PDF, the ebooks which contains the EPUB files and bookmarks appear here and on top you can see this search icon. If you click on it you can search for the name of your file. Just enter the name of the file you want. Click on it to open. This is the browser tab. On the top right corner you can see three shortcuts. The first one is to create a new folder. The second one is to create new notebook and the third one is a quick sheet. This quick sheet is the same as which you see here. Let me show you this. The changes you make are saved immediately, which is good. And cube sheet is something which you cannot delete from the tablet. You can delete the pages, but you can't delete the notebook. Here you can change the way files are displayed. As you can see, there are two types. Now there are three ways to sort your files. You can sort by last updated, by size, by name. So click on sort by. Let me just change it to the default display. Let me show you how to create a new folder. Simply click on this button. So you can see that folder 2 is the new folder creator. To open the new folder, click on it. In order to go back, click on the browser tab to the folder which you want to go. Here I click on my files and I go back to my files. If you click the three dots, you can see various options where you can rename the file. Enter the name of the folder you deserve. Now you can see black and white. White denotes empty folder. Now let's create another folder. So this is how you browse and create new folders in the tablet. Now let's create a new notebook. To create a new notebook, just click on the new notebook button. To rename it, simply click on the three dots and the top right corner you can see rename button. Click on it and enter the name you want. This is all in this video. If you like this video, click subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks for watching.